The focus is already shifting to what happens next and who becomes the Democratic presidential nominee. And tonight we're looking into how that process could play out. To news. Dr. Karen Siebold spoke to our Una Lee on Sunday afternoon. Siebold just returned from the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. The University of Arkansas political science professor says President Biden's decision to end his reelection campaign is shocking, but not surprising. This certainly upends the presidential election in ways we have not seen in decades. Dr. Siebold says this certainly wasn't an easy decision for the president to make, but that he could see the writing on the wall. Siebold says the move is about allowing the Democratic Party to win the presidential race in November. She says Biden's decision to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris is not a surprise either. And she makes the most sense in terms of where do we go next in this short period of time. But she stresses it will be a process. Dr. Siebold says President Biden doesn't have the right to tell his delegates to vote for the vice president. And if he tries to anoint her the, the next president or nominee, um, that could backfire on him and trying to kind of keep this coalition together. So it's going to be a process that has to be decided by the delegates to the Democratic Convention. Now, Siebold says the elites in the Democratic Party are already beginning to meet to discuss the next step. She says it's possible that there could be a roll call where the delegates come together with the elites and choose to throw their support behind Vice President Harris. She also says it could be late August at the DNC when a candidate is formally chosen.